So it's uh, May 21st, 2021, and the last blog that uh, I put forward was after Operation April Fools in the beginning of April. So there is a ton to catch up on here. So I'm going to do a video post now, and maybe I'll do this from now on. Who knows? There's been a lot going on. So mom came down to visit for a couple of weeks. Uh, it was a good time, good catching up. Uh, we didn't really do a whole lot of stuff. We had some stuff going on with the car and the squealing that would start um, somewhere between like five, ten minutes into the ride. Caused me a lot of stress. Uh, I took it to, had a mechanic come out here. He changed the serpentine belt and redid the transmission fluid and filter. That didn't help. He thought it was some wind passing through the bumper. I took it to Auto Boss in Sardinal, and he thought it was the power steering pump. His mechanic didn't think so. They did find that uh, the front wheel bearings on both cars were not good, so they changed those out. So now I'm about $500 into repairs in the car. I then put this on, uh, put the sound, I videoed the sound with a GoPro camera on the bottom of the car. I strapped it in there with some zip ties and uh, got the sound, put it on a couple of, uh, on a couple of forums and uh, Facebook forum as well, Costa Rica 4x4. It had Uncle Bob, who's a mechanic, listen to it. And uh, Uncle Bob thought it was a part that the Toyota doesn't actually have. Um, and then somebody in Costa Rica sent me a message thinking it was the seal at the front differential, as did somebody from Australia. I thought it was a CV joint seal. Took it to Toyota in Liberia. They found it pretty quickly. They fixed the horn. Uh, they changed the power steering fluid because it just wasn't a good color. And they got the parts and fixed the car. Had to take it back the next day because they forgot to put the skid plate on and there was some squealing also coming from the tires at that point it turns out to be the uh, the brake pads are rubbing so it was just an easy adjustment uh, the last owner of the car did not take care it's filthy underneath i've been scrubbing it i actually did the uh oil the u-joints and the uh the yokes on the drive myself um so that's coming along uh, but like I said, mom visit, mom's visit was good. It's really good to see her and catch up with her. Uh, we went to Father Rooster's a couple of times to eat. Uh, went to the beach. Did a couple of things. Um, not sure how she really feels about moving down here, but she'll probably see this and we'll probably find out. Um, we've been doing a lot of work on the house. Um, that comes up shortly. So the dogs... Got the two dogs, Seamus and Bella. Bella's crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, but we've got her on meds. Took her to the vet. These dogs weren't really cared for. They were just kind of here. Um, we think. And uh, they love the bones, the rawhide bones, and just hanging out. The cat, you, you talk about finicky cats and stuff. This cat just does whatever the hell he wants. Doesn't care who's around. And doesn't give us a hard time. So he's, he's a good time. And uh, we'll be bringing down four or five more soon. Um, the house upgrade. So initially we wanted some work done. I'm going to do a whole video on just like the houses as we get them ready to rent. Um, doing a lot of upgrades. Uh, pool guy had to come out. I talked about that. We had new fans put in. We had a new backsplash put in the kitchen. We had new outlets put in. New appliances throughout both the casita the guest house and the main house. I'm looking over at the house right now, sitting in one of the rentals. Um, whole, both places were painted, which is unfortunate because they were painted before the, the work was done. And then the workers went up to the house to, um, not the painters, but the contractors went up to the house to, to do some work and uh, found the electrical for half of the house. It was all wired into the stove wiring and was encased in um, garden holes. So they had to break down some walls, blow some holes in the newly painted walls, and uh, 
We're working on that, but we're going to have to have it repainted. They took all the trash away, which was great. They redid the water lines, put a, a concrete pad in because we're going to have water treatment uh, systems put in both the top and the bottom uh, for the renters. Um, there's a lot of work going on around the house. Uh, I've got to go out and do some life and stuff. Our painters clean the gutters, rake the yard. If they weren't doing something, they were eating lunch. And if they weren't eating lunch, they were doing something. I have some electrical that I need to catch up on with what they were doing. They were putting in some lights. I got to change some light bulbs and stuff out. We're having drains put in the house again. Um, yeah, so a lot of work at the house. Uh, still more to go. Got to get a new bedroom set for uh, the master bedroom um, and figure out landscaping. Probably hire a landscaper to come out. And uh, um, yeah. So, kind of where all that goes. Katrina's just coming in. But we can see each other. But. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, we got a little soiree going on Saturday for people in the uh, complex where we own the houses we're renting. So we're going to go meet our renter's neighbors, I guess. And that's going to be pretty cool. Um, school. Uh, Becca is out of Lakeside. She wasn't really getting along there. Not that she was having problems with the students, but it just wasn't for her. So she's going to school. Maggie loves it there. Uh, COVID has kind of hit again here in Costa Rica, and they have, they put us initially on, we couldn't drive on Sunday with our license plate. We couldn't drive on Sunday because our plate ends at 8, so it's even, and we couldn't drive on Thursday. But this week, they just moved it to um, odds and evens, can't drive every other day. And Maggie's school is shutting down, going to the virtual next week, and then doing their vacation early which screws us, us, screws us up because we're doing Operation Hypertension um, coming up in July when she was supposed to be on vacation. Operation Hypertension is going to be us flying back to Connecticut to collect the rest of our belongings, driving up to New York to see family, driving back to Connecticut to collect the cats, make sure they have all their vet stuff, putting them on a Delta plane and flying down here again. It's going to be 14 days of absolute fun. Uh, so there's that and then so yeah COVID hit again um, but the government's trying to keep the uh, keep things running smoothly even though there's a, there's a lot of naysayers I'm watching the politics and the things that are going on in the United States right now and quite frankly uh, COVID's over up there it really is um, it just really is it's you know people are fighting the mask and then people are fighting vaccinations I don't know if we're gonna get vaccinated I don't think we'll, we will unless uh, Big Brother makes us. Just because there's so many bad side effects in that. I'm not getting any younger. Um, but that's the way it's going to go. I got my first COM 100 class. I'm loving it. I have, uh, right now I have 17 students. I think I started with like 28. I got 17 students. Having a really great time. I'm in the classroom every day. It's really kind of picking me up as an instructor. Uh, with my other classes i had a zoom meeting with somebody from a different class I'm hoping to get some more common 100 but we'll see and uh, i've applied to um applied to a doctorate program with aspen the uh, doctor of education and leadership and learning organizational psychology it's really cool uh, and today i'm looking at uh, what my thesis would be in probably three four maybe five years from now but I'm thinking of doing something along the lines of uh, learning about students in online colleges and what can be done to help reduce their stress. So rather than uh, stress reduction and coping skills for an industrial setting, how about for online? So um, well that's, I'm going to start doing some work on that now and get permission from my boss to do that at Aspen and we'll just start collecting data. And uh, we all know from my traffic safety years, I love data. So life's good. Dogs are good. Uh, kids are good. Katrina's good. Car is good, finally. Um, and this is interesting to own a business now. And uh, we don't have a lot, of, a lot of work going on. 
It's very interesting to see some of the construction that was done here. Uh, there's, in the main house, we're kind of fearful to have them look at the electrical because we just don't want to know and spend more money on that. But that's uh, pretty much the way it's going. Next is Operation Hypertension. We will arrive back in Connecticut at about midnight, midnight on July 1st. We're renting a small car. Car rental prices have gone up, as has gas prices in the United States and lumber prices and such, because well, we don't have any more mean tweets now, do we? And that's fabulous, you know. You may not like somebody, but when they're successful, you got to work with them. But we'll take inflation and all that. I'm moving all my money out of uh, investments that I can't control at this point because uh, I can't look at the market anymore in the way it's just up and down every day uh, and not for the good. But so Operation Hypertension, come back, and hopefully we'll never, I don't want to say we'll never come back to the States, but I just don't look forward to traveling up there right now. Uh, you see all the fights in the airports and people are just getting out, and uh, I think it's crazy. And um, it's just the way it is. So I'm going to post this to YouTube, and then I'm going to uh, start putting pictures into the um, into the post itself. So if, if you got this far through, thanks for abusing yourself and listening to me kind of go on about the update. And I might be doing vlogs from now on because it's a lot easier than typing everything out and all that kind of thing. If you know how to reach me and you want to reach out and come down and visit here, um, La Dera Vida is the name of the business. It's owned by uh, two corporations. Mine is Pura Vida AF, which I feel silly about doing that now. And uh, Hillside Loafers, which is Katrina's half of the, uh, it's her corporation, her half of the business. We uh, are going to be renting this out and marketing it shortly. We've already got somebody who wants to long term the Casita. She will be a new teacher at uh, La Paz in Liberia. Uh, and I'll get more into that later. Uh, so we're considering that as our first tenant. But if you're looking at it, if you're a first responder from anywhere, and that includes um, police, fire, EMS, dispatchers, uh, support, chaplains, Red Cross Canteen. If you need a break and you need to get away, contact me at the email that's attached to this blog. And I won't pay for I can't pay for you to get down here, but I can put you up and I can point you in the right directions to have a wonderful vacation. It's you can do something cheaply, you, you, you know, you can do something more expensive, but if you need a place to stay, we can at least get that. I'll pick you up at the Liberia Airport, airport maybe even San Jose. I'll get you out here. I'll get you a good rental. I know a lot of rental places. I have a relationship with some of the guys at, at uh, Vamos and, more importantly, at um, Avanti. A good relationship with the guy there, and uh, he's starting up his own company. Nativo uh, car rentals that's going to be great because it's going to put the camping stuff on there but if you're looking just to get away for a while you want to come down to the ocean you want to go to the, the cloud forest um, contact me I can put you in contact with a great um, with a great uh, travel agency Costa Rica now.com travel I'm sorry travel Costa Rica now.com I'll post all that stuff down here as well and um, I'll help you Get out here, I'll help you get to your car, and I will put you up in the uh, Juanacaste area near Playa del Coco um, for free, you and your family, if you are a first responder that needs a break. And like I said, dispatchers, EMS, private, volunteer, citywide, fire companies, volunteer paid, police, volunteer paid. Um, the Red Cross Canteen, for Christ's sakes. Chaplains, if you guys need a break and you need to get away, come down here and I will be as little in, as involved with you as you want me to or more involved if you want me to. So uh, let me know what you need and you guys be safe out there.